So now the meniscus is starting to prolapse along the free edge of the tibia or the free edge of the femur. In that scenario also, I'll use the term extrusion of the meniscus or displacement slash extrusion of the meniscus in the parafemoral or the paratibial gutter. Let's take a quick look. Here's exactly just that. Here's our meniscus. And our meniscus is truncated. We'll get to that in a moment. You already know one cause of truncation is a bucket handle tear, but not the case here. This is the most common cause of truncation, the surgeon. The surgeon did it. They truncated the meniscus. They went and cut the inner portion of the meniscus, which actually has a lot to do with the meniscus extrusion or displacement along the paratibial gutter. And here it is right there. Our meniscus is in trouble, and this patient is lying on their back. They're not even standing up. There's no hoop stress driving down, pushing the meniscus out, when the patient is standing, it's even more extruded. Why did this occur? Because the meniscus got chopped right here. And now when you drive the femur down into a structure that is now paper thin and irregular and has lost some of its depth, you know from physics that that produces a scenario that enhances the pushing effect of the meniscus to one side. And most of the forces are coming down and out, and down and out on both sides. So the mere, the mere fact that there's a trimming increases the likelihood, the physical likelihood, that a meniscus experiences more downward force, more hoop stress, and greater likelihood of displacement, and therefore displacement into the parafemoral and paratibial gutter rendering it useless. So meniscectomies are not to be taken lightly. And we'll talk about later on what circumstances they are absolutely indicated. Thanks.